Welcome to another one of my videos. My name is Chris, and here in this problem we have a triangle inside of a rectangle. And on the graph, one of the points of the triangle starts at the origin, and the other two points are labeled X and Y. The coordinates for point X are AB, and the coordinates for point Y are C and D. The question for this problem is find the area of this triangle in terms of A, B, C, and D. Once again, find the area of this triangle in terms of A, B, C, and D. So take your time, pause this video if you feel like working on this problem, and I will show you the solution in five seconds. So the only thing we need to solve this problem is the formula for the area of a triangle. But the reason why I like it so much is because we need to think outside the box. So the first thing I want to do to solve this problem is label everything that we can. And notice inside of this rectangle we have three triangles that are not shaded. So let's label these triangles one, two, and three. And let's start by looking at triangle number one. Well, using the coordinates A, B, we know that the base of this triangle is going to have a distance of A, and we know the height of this triangle is going to have a distance of B. Now let's look at triangle number two. Well, you know from the coordinates C, D that the base of this triangle is going to have a distance of D, and the height of this triangle is going to have a distance of C. And now let's look at triangle number three. Well, using both coordinates, x and y, we know that one side of this triangle is going to have a distance of a minus c, and the other side of this triangle is going to have a distance of d minus b. So now that we labeled everything, still, how do we find the area of the shaded triangle? Well, if we take the area of the entire rectangle, and we subtract the areas of triangles one, two, and three, what we have left over is going to be the area of the shaded triangle, which is what we are solving for. All right, so now let's make everything into a formula. Well, we know the area of the rectangle is equal to the length times the width, so the area of our rectangle is going to be equal to A times D. And now we can subtract the areas of triangles one, two, and three. We know the formula for the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So the area of triangle number one is going to be one half times A times B. The area of triangle number two is going to be one half times C times D. And the area of triangle number three is going to be one half times A minus C times D minus B. All right, so now we can simplify this one half A minus C times D minus B by foiling. And after we do this, we're going to have a one half AD, a negative one half AB, a negative one half CD, and a positive one half BC. Now notice how we have some terms that cancel each other out. We have a positive one half AB and a negative one half AB that cancel each other out. And we also have a positive one half CD and a negative one half CD that also cancel each other out. And if we simplify this whole entire equation, we have AD minus, in parentheses, one half AD plus one half BC. And now we can get rid of the parentheses, uh, the negative sign in front of the parentheses is going to turn both positive terms negative. So we're going to have a negative one-half AD and a negative one-half BC. And we can simplify this even further. We still have two like terms. We have an AD and a negative one-half AD. If we simplify these like terms, one minus one-half is equal to a positive one-half AD. And we're still not finished we can factor out the one-half that both of these terms have in common. So if we factor out this one-half, we have one-half, and in parentheses, we have AD minus BC. And this is the solution to our problem. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, I have many more videos just like it, so check them out if you want. Also, let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. Or did you love it, or do you want to see me do things differently? Let me know what you thought. 
Thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you in my next video.